hydrates then continuation part of transport layer so we already seen that uh, segmentation and uh, reassembling reassembling how it is going to be done in transport layer and uh, and the entire system how packets will be delivered to the actual destination and in between how routers will work together we already seen so now if we move to the next responsibility is multiplexing and demultiplexing this is uh, another responsibility of the transport layer so here as name implies multiplexing and demultiplexing is in our system you have the many services like uh, http is one service and uh, ftp is one service and uh, giving uh, application oriented you have the many kinds of services but uh, all these services have to go through the one outgoing link so while going all these services in one outgoing link these all things have to be combined at one point right whenever you combine after reaching the destination you have to be submit that and means you combine somewhere means you have to be uh, redistribute you have to be divide that in somewhere so here in the in the entire in these layers in the transport layer you will combine at the source at the source level in the source host you will combine all the sources all the services all the port numbers all different kinds of things you will uh, combine all these things at a transport layer okay simply we can combine at the transport layer then that you will propagate through the different routers in the different network uh, networks after reaching the destination at the same in the destination in the same layer that is transport layer in the transport layer you are going to be divide that one because you have to be service accordingly because if you send a http service at the destination side also http have to be handled that day then only you can understand clearly because protocol is a communication in the network okay so that's why corresponding protocol have to be take care of the appropriate data so that will be done at the destination side in the transport layer so let us see here one example so assume that this is the source so in the source level physical layer data link layer network layer here transport layer is there so in this case all kinds of services will come like this okay up to here individually these layers will come because suppose if you have a one network address outside so only one network address you have in that case you have to be combine all these things that functionality will done by transport layer that is demultiplexing then this is propagated to the outgoing layer this means it will keep the data into the outgoing layer if you see at the destination side this data will come like this same way up to here it will come this is actually transport layer now this suppose you send a http data so you have to be give it to the http service corresponding so means you have to identify what actually the service you should provide in the destination side so that will identify by the transport layer then it will give to the corresponding service so like this you have the many services so to all these services it will divide in this manner so here you are calling as a multiplex because basing on the service you are giving it to the corresponding uh, port corresponding port you are submitting that data simply why multiplexing here in this case so multiplexing mean is among the existed paths it is selecting one now at any time it will select only one so that's why it is calling multiplexing and here it is combining all this as a one path means 
any data is coming it is sending to only one link so that's why here we are calling it as demultiplexing okay this is actual concept uh, in the transport layer side multiplexing and 